Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be adding a couple of trim cover-up pieces by Zomzima. First off, we've got this gloss black piece that goes in the center B pillar. And then I've also got these uh, latch covers as well. So let's go check them out. A big thank you to Zomzima for providing the products for this video. These gloss black trim pieces have an adhesive on the back and then a protective film on the front. You're going to need to open both doors so you can access that B pillar. Clean the area thoroughly before installation. Peel off the white backing film. Starting at the top, line up the panel, make sure it's even on both sides, and then gently stick it down. When you're happy with the position, press it down hard with a soft cloth. And now you can peel off the protective film. And here I'm just showing it doesn't interfere with the operation of the doors at all. I'm not usually one for stick-on pieces, but I was really impressed with how this looked. It just looks like an expanse of glass now. And now do the same thing on the other side. And now onto the latch covers. They're just ABS plastic with some sticky adhesive on the back. These are so simple to install. Just have to remove the red backing film and stick them in place. That's it. You just need to make sure you press them down firmly. Do the same for the other three door latches, and then the tailgate latch as well.
So for me, I think the, uh, these gloss panels look really nice. Um, I was really surprised by the difference it made. The, I, I mean, I like the rugged texture that's on there. It matches the fender flares and it matches, you know, the front bumper and things like that. But when seeing this gloss panel in with the tinted windows and the glass all together and seamlessly, I was kind of impressed. So I think I'm going to keep it on for now. As for the strikers, you know, it makes a difference. I mean, it covers them up, but I can take them or leave them, I think. It's up to you. Tell me what you think in the comments. Yay or nay? If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.